I'm pleased to be joined today by the president of the Lloydminster Minor Ball Association, Dave Perro. Dave's here today to discuss the changes within Lloydminster Minor Ball, switching from baseball Saskatchewan to baseball Alberta. Now, Dave, thank you very much for taking this time and joining me. Just to kick things off here, why did the association make the change? Well, it was nothing to do with um, baseball SAS. They run a first class organization. We were, were proud baseball SAS members for many decades. It really had to do with just the, the difficulties with our location. We're so, so um, in zone seven baseball SAS, we're so isolated to the west side. Uh, we're, the, we're the only program offering AAA baseball. And so we we're having difficulties with our, our younger age groups, getting them into a league where they could uh, find the right level of competition. So this was a long time in the making. We did a lot of um, investigation, a lot of phone calls um, over the years to just figure out what our best fit is. And so, um, yeah, we decided that we're going to try to make this move and see if it best meets the needs of all of our age groups. Um, with our, our, our 18 new age group was actually well taken care of the, the, the Saskatchewan premier baseball league is a, uh, province wide league. What baseball Alberta does is they run all of their age groups as a province wide endeavor. Um, and so with our triple a Prairie pirates and our double a twins programs, they will start out playing regionally and then they'll expand into a province wide setting and they will tier themselves into the appropriate provincials. So um, it just had to do with, uh, probably it's no less travel. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll have our fair share of Fort McMurray's and Grand Prairie and Calgary trips, but I feel like from 18U down to 11U, our provincial level teams will uh, sort themselves into the appropriate uh, provincials in a bit more of an easier process. Now, how, if at all, uh, will these changes affect players? No, not at all. In fact, for years, we've been playing on both sides of the border. Baseball Bird has always accommodated us when we wanted to put our teams in their leagues, and then we would duck out for provincials on the Sask side. So it, 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 most families won't notice any difference other than more travel uh, to the west versus to the east. Uh, but we've been kind of playing on both sides of the border for decades now. Now, Dave, registration for the season uh, closed earlier this month. What are things looking like? Is there uh, a lot of interest this season? Uh, looks great. Our registrations uh, are at a record level, uh, back up higher than even uh, pre-COVID uh, shutdown. So, yeah, we have over 100 kids in our Rally Cap program, which is our skill development program. We've got almost 80 kids in our 9U rookie ball, which is the, the machine pitch league. And uh, then 11U through 18U, we offer everything from uh, City League uh, to three different levels of provincial baseball, A-level, AA, and AAA. And Dave, just to wrap things up, uh, anything else you'd like to add here before we finish? No, no and if you can help it get a little bit warmer outside so we can get on the diamonds, uh, if you got any control of that, we'll take it. But other than that, the kids are ready to go. We've, we've been very blessed uh, the last few seasons to have the Synergy Vault to access. I feel like we get a leg up on a lot of communities where many of our AA and AAA athletes have been training all winter, either with the Bulldogs Academy, or now that we've selected our teams, we're getting them in there about once a week to, to throw and hit in the vault. So boys and coaches are ready to go. We just need mother nature to cooperate. Well, thank you very much for taking this time and joining me. This was Dave Perro, president of the Lloydminster Minor Ball Association.